we will talk about chronic cough and seven most common causes of chronic cough. First, let's define what means chronic cough. It is when it lasts more than eight weeks, it is chronic cough. And if it lasts more than four weeks among children. First, most common cause of chronic cough is postnasal drip syndrome. It is responsible around 40% of cases of chronic cough. What means? It means when person has inflammation and infection of nasal cavity or sinusitis and excessive mucus is produced, this excessive mucus are, uh, flow back to the throat, they irritate the throat and they causing cough reflex. So postnasal drip syndrome is when mucus flows back to throat usually because of sinusitis, sometimes because of allergy, but most commonly it is caused by sinusitis. Such cough, what type is such cough? Cough is usually wet, it means it produces some mucus, some plague, and uh, it's frequent cough, frequency is very high, but intensity is mild. It means that it's not very intensive cough, but it is associated with uh, night war worse periods and pressure and pain, se pain sensation around sinuses. It's very important when person says that he has pressure sen sensation on uh, his face and around his forehead. And if he says that he feels mucus at this throat and he has chronic cough it's very likely postnasal drip syndrome and caused by sinusitis nasal congestion also common and bad taste in the mouth is very common also what is the treatment treatment is antibiotics if it caused by sinusitis and if it caused by allergy antihistamines are effective and nasal irrigation also important if there is sinusitis. Second most common cause of chronic cough is asthma. Asthma is narrowing of airways and narrowing and inflammation of airways. You can see in the image here and this narrowed airways causes difficulty breathing and it causes chronic cough. This cough is um, more, at, uh, it, it has attack nature. It means uh, there is asthma attacks and other periods of time person feels normal, but he has, he or she has triggers. And after these triggers, asthma attack starts. Um, during asthma attack, usually cough is dry. Sometimes, Sometimes it's possible that there is mucus also, but usually cough is dry. Breathing difficulty is very common symptom and wheezing is also very common symptom. And it means high pitched whistling sound, high pitched whistling noise during exhalation. When person exhale, you hear high pitched whistling noise. It is called Wheezing. So wheezing is characteristic for asthma and cough is dry usually, it works at night and early morning and it is triggered after exercise, after inhaled dust or dander or cold air or mice or smoke or other allergens. It means asthma has triggers and asthma is reaction, overreaction of our body on these triggers. What is treatment? Most common and mainstay treatment of asthma is inhaled corticosteroids for long term control of symptoms and bronchodilators for short term control. Third most common cause of um, chronic cough is GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. It means when stomach acid flows back to the throat, stomach 
acid flows back into esophagus and it eventually reach into uh, throat it causes irritation and causes cough causes heartburn sensation causes sometimes discomfort and pain after eating or person or when person is lying down or in the night time usually such cough are dry in most cases and gastroesophageal reflux disease is responsible on 20 percent of cases of chronic coughs it means it's very common it's very common cause uh, and hacking cough is important characteristic uh, because as it irritates throat and the symptoms worse during night time and after meal and person can have sour taste in his mouth also lump in the throat is important because lump in the throat is caused by acid irritation of throat and it's common characteristic for acid reflux or for gastroesophageal reflux disease what is the treatment treatment is eating with smaller but frequent portions avoid triggers elevate the head when you're lying down elevate head it's very important and effective lie down on your left side is important also because if you see gastric anatomy if you um, if you lie down on left side your esophagus is above gastric so decreases risk of esophageal reflux and for medication uh, antacids are mild uh, medications uh, and h2 blockers are moderate effective and proton pump inhibitors such as omeprazole lansoprazole and pantoprazole are very effective uh, for most common cause is uh, of chronic cough is uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or copd uh, copd is characterized by daily persistent cough with plague it's very important it means that person has coughing every day without exceptions every day is important characteristic and person usually after 40 and he has history of smoking history of working in dust regions or occupational his occupational history is uh, dust or chemicals prolonged exposure to dust or chemicals and this cough is persistent and nagging with plague and it's more severe in the morning and person will say that he needs to clean his throat in the morning he need to cough up this plague every every morning it is copd or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and it happens when alveoli or lung structure is destroyed and it is irreversible that's why we have no treatment for copd if copd develops we have no treatment but we can slow down the process and we can manage symptoms but we can we can't cure copd shortness of breath on mild exertion person will say that uh, he he has shortness of breath or difficulty breathing or discomfort during breathing when even mild exertion when he physically active he has shortness of breath it's more common in older age but if if uh, we have copd in young ages especially in children it is caused by alpha antitrypsin deficiency it's a rare genetic disorder and is characterized by uh, deficiency of this molecule and it causes frequent respiratory infections and such people has a weak immunity weak immune system and their uh, lungs are destroyed gradually and uh, prematurely so uh, alpha antitrypsin deficiency is important cause also and fifth most common cause is infections infections can cause chronic cough especially after after cold or covid 19 or common cold or flu or pertussis they can cause prolonged uh, cough they, they can last for several weeks sometimes for several months but usually uh, they will resolve in several weeks 
and medications also six most common cause is medications such as uh, hypertension medications like high blood pressure medications ac inhibitors or beta blockers or aspirin uh, or other many drugs can cause uh, cough as a side effect but most commonly it is um, uh, it, it most, ca most characteristic it is for ac inhibitors and beta blockers bronchoectasis is another cause it is rare actually it's not common where bronchial tubes uh, are damaged permanently and then infected and then there is inflammation there is plague it's usually also in older people and person who has lung problems for prolonged period of time it's bronchoectasis other causes also exist such as cancer for example or heart failure but such cases are rare and for them coughing is not main symptom usually it's not main symptom chronic cough for them is secondary symptom but what we uh, what we discussed in this uh, in, in our discussion uh, for them chronic cough is most commonly it's common symptom that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my videos please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now